So um, what I really found useful was uh, sort of trying and improvise over the track, but limiting myself to one rhythm. So I'd sit down and I'd clap something, I don't know, start something really basic. So, so da, 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 da. And I'd play over a track using that rhythm alone. So uh, I'll do an improvisation right now. Let's check it out. You can try and do the same with uh, sort of more complex rhythms. So let me think. Okay, so let's have a go with this. purpose of the exercise you know by all means you're meant to sort of repeat the rhythm again and again and just try to to get a feel for it really and uh, you know it really is it really is going to help you technically as well because you know a lot of the times uh, I think uh, some of us tend to play very uh, I don't know how to describe it for lack of a better term very much straightforward rhythm values so you might just play straight eight notes so you know if the beat is here <coughs> Da 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 oh 16 notes da 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 But when you try and get into more interesting rhythmical stuff, you you know, it can really challenge your technique because they're not so straightforward. So you know things like So it's a really, really good tool to go. Uh, so now let's come up with another variation and then I'm gonna go uh, to another sort of concept that's really, really cool uh, to help you develop your rhythmic awareness. So our rhythm now is gonna be da 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 ka da 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 ka da 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 ka da 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 da